What's up, y'all? I hope y'all are well out there. I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this blessed by the best <laughs> studio, the Jaren M. LeGuerre Studio. So I'm finally getting to this show. So I'm gonna explain how I'm gonna do this video real quick. So first of all, I'm not doing the whole show. It would be an immensely long process and video to do the entire show from beginning to end, nonstop. And I wanna say this too about the video. The point of the video is to hear about their technique and kind of listen to their voices, not so much react to the whole concert. So I don't want y'all to feel like, you know, I miss songs or, you know, you should do this. I was really trying to find moments where I really can hear their voice. But it was kind of hard because a lot of these songs, a lot of these moments were corporate worship and corporate singing. So it's very hard to find pockets of them like singing, singing, singing and things like that. So I did my best, but I don't want y'all to feel like, man, you should have did this song or should have did that song. I was trying to find moments where I could really capture their voice and talk about their technique and talk about how they sound and, you know, things that I hear about their voice. So that's the point of the video. Way more than just reacting and just talking about the whole concert. Because again, that would have been a very long, very long video. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna try to focus on here, okay? So I decided to use some clips that I saw on the internet via Instagram, TikTok, here on YouTube. And I wanna make sure I shout out all the people who posted the content I'm gonna use. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you all so much for sharing this. You made my job a little easier in finding some of this footage. So I tagged you all below to give you your shout out. So thank you so, so, so much for posting this content for us to enjoy and for me to enjoy, to analyze with you guys. So thank you so much. So in this video, I'm gonna do about one or two songs per act, if you will, and then at the end, and I'm gonna do like random Instagram and TikTok clips that I found that I really liked and I wanted to talk about a little bit. So it's gonna be like a melting pot or a hodgepodge of a lot of material that I gathered from the reunion tour for people sharing online and things like that. So shout out to y'all. Let's do this thing, y'all. how timeless these songs that the Clark sisters sing are. And they keep the sound of the song true to the fashion of the song, obviously. Of course, they update the music and, you know, bring it to times, but still, they're still the true essence of the song. They don't change who they are. They don't change these songs. It's the exact same song that was from the 70s, 80s, whatever, and the exact same song that is present today. I love that. migrate and grind through the vein word that that diff song vein vein time yeah those diff songs and the clutches are very known for singing through vowels like that am i wasting my time you see what i'm saying is my living in vain there's a little dip too vain Hit a little glissade of Tweaky just kind of roars through. Ah, no. Ooh, I love how she just kind of just seeps past the voices and just kind of roars. Ah. Ooh, 
Jackie is my labor in vain. She says in that violent labor in vain. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, at the end had a little run right there. Sing. She sang to that vow and kind of puckered it in vain, but then kind of brought a smile at the end right there. Did you hear? You see that little chromatic? And she stayed on the open bright vow. Ah, she kind of said in that vibe right there, sang in vain. I love how expressive she is. Oh, those growls. Uh, another thing that is signature to Tinky Clark is them growls. Like I talked about Tire Tribute and the little blurps and the things. Twinkie gonna roar. Twinkie gonna sing and sing hard and roar above all the sound and hit that growl. Ooh, it's so good. And she has such a thick growl. You know, and she uses a lot of pucker. Ah, and vain. And she really migrates through these consonants and through these vowels very purposefully and very intensely. Vain. Oh, no. She's not afraid to do any of that. You know, she's. She gonna give you all of that. Oh, no! Yeah. It's almost like a gong when it goes through that vowel right there, the diphthong on this part. It's not all in vain. Yeah, it's like they fade through or sweep through the diphthong. It's not all in vain. It's not all in vain. Yeah, it's not, but they keep that brightness. It's not all in vain. It's not all in vain. They keep that twingy brightness sound all the time So they go to the eternal, but it is eternal. The L is kind of regular to a ooh. Is eternal? <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of myself. <laughs> Another thing they're gonna do is repeat a phrase, repeat a word, repeat a syllable. They're gonna repeat it, okay? Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. And I love the playfulness that they have here. She drops the larynx, drops the jaw, ho, ho, and gets down there, drops that jaw, drops the larynx, almost like a yawn, ho, oh, oh, oh. and it comes back up. Yeah, she really knows how to move her larynx and her vocal tract, if you will, in so many ways so she can hit all these notes and go low. I mean, Tweaky be singing bass. Like, be clear, Tweaky sings bass notes. Like, this ain't no joke. <laughs> Twinkie is not a joke. Twinkie be singing whole bass notes, okay? Two 
remember the little run you do and to repeat it over and over? That takes wit. It also takes vocal sharpness and awareness because you have to hit it the same way each time. Oh, 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 oh. You see what I'm saying? So I gotta do that glotto pop each time. I can't blend it together. Oh, oh, oh. You see what I'm saying? It just takes a lot mentally and physically to do that. And the other part of that is move the mic away in ways to where it makes sense for the echo. So if I kept it here, it would just be me repeating the run. But the trick is pulling the mic away. Oh, 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 oh. But you keep the same intensity and volume in yourself, but you let the mic do its job and pull it away so then it seems like the echo. That's part of the technique. Again, I'm very surface level with this whole technique. She's way better at this than me, but I'm trying to explain the concept behind it. You repeat the run by yourself, the mic is pulled away to get the volume of the echo or the lessening volume each time so it seems like an echo. <laughs> stamina to sing too. It's a constant drive. You gotta just ad lib over and over ongoing no matter how long the song is or whatever. You gotta ad lib and keep the song going and drive it. This song takes stamina. It's not easy to sing. You gotta be witty and got stamina to sing the song. <laughs> I love how she inserts scripture. I will bless the Lord. Like when you gotta do that over and over, it's such a great ad lib tactic, but also it is very taxing because you, it's like you gotta, so you gotta watch breast management so you're not overdoing it. You gotta watch vocal stamina so you're not overdoing it. But you gotta find that sweet balance of I'm not overexerting myself so I can have energy to sing this song, but I still can sing this song the way I wanna sing this song. And that's something I personally have been trying to work on is not overexerting myself when I sing songs like this. I usually go super hard at the beginning and then I have like no steam left and like, you know, two, three, four minutes in, I'm like, oh Lord, you know? So I gotta hold it together a little bit and really be in control of the moment. I can still be in the spirit and be in control of the moment physically. The spirit doesn't make you forget. You're still very aware of what's going on in the spirit. The spirit gives wisdom. So when I'm singing and I feel the anointing or whatever the case may be, whatever you wanna call it, I can still be controlled as a singer of the moment and make sure I'm not overexerting myself. You know, at a certain point, if I'm like done, I just wanna go hard, then I'm gonna go hard and go home and be done, you know? But if I wanna make sure I can sing through this song, then I'm gonna do just that. One of my mentors, Dr. Leslie Parker Barnes, I call her Auntie Leslie, but she always said, you know, shout, do what you wanna do, but get through the song first. We can't shout with you unless you know what you're singing about. 
<laughs> you know, like we, we can't give it to you unless we know what you're singing about. So if you shop before the song is over, we can't worship you. We can't be with you because you don't know what's happening. So she was like, you know, do what you got to do, but get to the song first. She told me that like in high school and I remember that my whole life. Like I'm gonna shout, I'm gonna go hard, whatever, but I'm gonna get to this song. I'm gonna tell you what I'm shouting about first and then I'm gonna go hard, do my thing and go on by my way. So I love that Karen can pace herself in this song. You know, she can really growl and get through this song because she knows how to sing it. She knows what her voice can do and she stays in that pocket. <laughs> like in her ad lib she's now kind of turning into a preacher if you will a lot of times ad libs in church turn into preaching moments you know i don't like to say that i'm a preacher in any way shape or form but i know there's moments when i go there when i'm singing or you know when i'm ad-libbing a song i'm gonna go there because a lot of times ad-libbing is personal we kind of bring the context of the song you know in a nutshell to make us understand it kind of bringing the song home if you will especially like in a vamp like this so a lot of times there will be personal moments in the ad lib so sometimes that begets preaching a little bit you know it gets preachy or whatever whatever do what you do you know so you can use kind of a preaching tactic to ad lib as well in churchy songs like this <laughs> up there man and she has like this floaty texture when she goes high now ah! so it's not pushed it's not anything it's just such a light bright floaty thing but it still has that energy still has that punch analysis you might as well click subscribe down below then click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted and as i will always say to you be vocally bold creative and aware but most of all be vocally you all right i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all soon